well, I'm sitting here on this log taking a break. It's the last day of rifle season here in Virginia. I'm done for the day. Nice size deer. Oh, drug that thing about 200 yards. I shot it up in that saddle. I shot it up in that saddle. That's when I went up here this morning. I went up that thing. Got up on that flat about 200 yards up there and hunted the fence line. I got right on the about 30 yards of a fence, this big old farm. It's over here on the on the uh, property. I knew the last day, you know, earlier I did that video and I said, I'm going to hunt the fence lines because there's going to be a lot of people out. And surely enough, about, uh, probably about 10 minutes before I shot this deer, there was a guy that shot pretty close. And boy, I jumped up and I started looking. You know, I, I heard five or six shots down below me this morning. And this was the closest one. About 10 minutes later, this thing comes jumping across the fence. So I don't know if he shot the one that was, this one was with or what, but but it 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 come right on you know right on me. Well, anyways, while I'm taking a breather, I want y'all to give me just a few minutes. Just give me seven, eight, nine, ten minutes, whatever, until I get this off my chest. This started this morning when I sat down. For some reason, I've been emotional all day, and I'm not a very you know crying emotional person, but. But this morning when I sat down in these mountains, it just took me back to when I first started deer hunting when I was, you know, 11, 12 years old. And uh, I just sat there, you know, no blind, no tree stand, no nothing, just me sitting up against a tree watching a holler. You no know, no food plots, no big fields, no nothing. You know, no no fancy TV stuff, just me and the and the, and the deer and, and the tree and, 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 and just sitting here watching, just like I did when I was a kid. And honest to God, people, when I saw this deer, I got, my heart just started pounding. And I've shot over 150 deers in my life, probably. But I don't ver I don't get nervous when a deer comes unless he's a big monster. But for some reason, when I seen that deer, my heart just started pounding, jumping across that fence, and he just come. And I guess where this morning I was just I just felt I just felt like a kid again. And I just man, that deer jumped. I didn't care what he was. He was going down below me. He come up and you know you'll see it on the tactic cam when I get it all edited down you know later. And 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 what, he come up and I just throw the tactic cam on and I didn't look at his head. I just my heart was pounding and I just shot. And guess what? I walked up to him and he was a spike. He's he's got you know he got a spike about that big. And guess what? You know, I ain't apologizing for it. And I'm gonna tell you something. When I walked up to this deer, the emotions just took me. I don't I I can't understand it, but emotions just took me over because I honest to God felt like I was 13, 14 years old again, shooting spikes and four pointers and six pointers and, and I don't usually shoot big bucks like that. I don't hardly shoot you. Know, usually I look at their head real good and and, and I and, and you know and if there's a spike or a four I usually let them go. But guess what? For some reason, I just shot this deer, and I ain't apologizing for it. It's the last day of rifle season, but I'm going to tell you something. And just just excuse me a minute because I, I got a rant I want to do. I think we're ruining the, the sport of deer hunting. Not so much turkey hunting. It's not as bad in turkey hunting as it is in deer hunting. But, you know, when I think we're just ruining the sport by everybody wanting to be a TV star. Everybody thinks they can shoot a 150, a 160, and they can hunt a big managed property, and, and, and they can take a highly pressured place where everybody around you shooting everything that they see that's legal, and that's all right. But everybody thinks they're going to go out here and shoot what a TV guy does on a managed property in Iowa or Illinois or Wisconsin or wherever he's hunting. And I'm not jealous of them guys. And I don't want anybody to say here, think I'm jealous of them. You know, that's great. If you've got thousands and thousands of dollars to sink into a property and you got neighbors that, that that's on the same page with you and everybody's, you know, letting the little bucks, you know, if I was on a place like that this morning, I'd have let every single deer I've shot this year walk by. Every buck I've shot this year, I'd have let walk by. But we ain't on that. We're sitting in, in mountains where everybody that's got orange on is just waiting for something to come through. <laughs> But for some reason, I got so nervous. Man, my heart was pounding when this deer was walking up to me. And it was just all the emotions that I had as a kid. 
And I think that's what we're missing. We're missing that as deer hunters because here's the thing. Everybody, and social media is great, and I'm on it. We're all on it, and that's what you're doing watching me right now. And that's all fine. And I think social media is a good thing to have, but I think it's ruining the sport because everybody is bashing one another. Oh, well, you know, that buck I shot in Ohio, guess what? I hunted hard. But the you know, but I guarantee you there were folks that looked at that picture. And I guarantee you they said, that's exactly the kind of guy I'm talking about. If he'd have let that deer walk, he'd have been a, a 140 next year. Because, well, look at him. He's he's about a 110, 120. You know, uh, boy, imagine what he'd have been next year. That just ruins somebody when you tell them that. When you post that on their, their picture and you say, boy, you know, boy, he'd have been a whopper next year. That just ruins it. They feel like they've done something wrong. And and it's killing the sport of deer hunting because we're not celebrating each other. We're not congratulating. You know, I remember the first buck I shot. The first buck I ever shot. You know, uh, <clears throat> I was about, I don't know, 13, 12, whatever it was. And back in the you know, 90, 91, whatever it was. I can't even remember now. But uh, we had check stations. you remember the check stations? And I remember that little six-pointer. I, I went up to that check station, and I had my tag on it. And every, everybody, old guys, me, you know, young guys, middle-aged guys, they was coming up and patting me on the back and, and high-fiving me and congratulating me. And I, you know, and I felt like that I was, I mean, I felt, I felt on top of the world. And 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 back then in the in the late eighties and nineties, when you walk, you know, when you went up to the back of a truck and you saw that somebody had a ten pointer, maybe a one hundred hundred and ten class ten pointer or an eight pointer or whatever, you didn't sit there and go, boy, just imagine what he'd have been in a couple of years. No, you look, you, you patted him on the back and you said, hey man, that's great. You celebrate because that's their that, that's their experience. You wasn't sitting with them, and you wasn't behind the gun. You wasn't behind the bow, and you need to you know, no, you they that was their hunt. Nobody can take that heartbeat that this little spike this morning, this 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 little spike this morning, made my heart just pound for some reason. Nobody can take that. Over 150 years later, and I still get it. I still get excited. Not as much as I used to, but for some reason, this morning, I guess it was just all the emotions I was feeling anyway before this deer came along. It, it just, it, it just made me feel like a 12, 13 year old kid again. And that is what we're missing. That's why kids don't want to hunt because they get out here and, you know, 14, 15 year olds shot two or three deers and he's out here. He's just getting into it. And the moment he shoots a, a an eight pointer like I shot in Ohio, somebody is commenting, well, boy, you should have let him walk. He'd have got a bigger. He'd got bigger next year. Listen, that kid may not be hunting on a property where that deer would have survived. You know, just like in Ohio. I, listen, I hunted hard. I hunted over 40 hours, daylight to dark, took my lunch in there with me, stayed all day, wind blowing 25 mile an hour, cut me in half, snow blowing me in the face, never saw an antlered buck, I saw only a handful of does every day, and sitting there, my shoulders hurting, my back's hurting, my legs are hurting, and I sat there, and finally, the last evening, that sucker walked right on through, and I didn't care, because I was the one that paid for that tag. I paid $150 to go up there, and guess what? I was gonna get me a deer. And when I seen him, I didn't know how big he was, I just knew he was a nice deer, and I let him have it, and I ain't apologizing for it. I'm tickled to death. But I didn't get nervous on that deer. It was just, that's just another deer to me. This little spike made my heart just pound because it took me back to when I first started deer hunting. And when I'm sitting there this fall, or, or this spring, or this winter, rather, I'll get it right in a minute. But when I'm sitting there this spring, and I'm waiting for turkey season, and I'm sitting there, and I've got cabin fever, and I'm sitting there reliving my hunts. You know, this is my sixth deer. I've killed six deers this year, and not a one of them did I shake on. Not one of them did I get all tore up over. But this one this morning, watching him coming in, you know, I had to turn my tactic cam on. And, you know, you'll see this hunt down the road somewhere. And, and this, and, 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 and man, he just, he just come right on through. And I didn't look at his head. I didn't care what he was because he'd already had my heart pounding. And I didn't care if it was a doe or a buck. I didn't look at his head. I just shot. <laughs> as soon as he gave me a broadside shot, I shot. He went up there and he fell. And when I walked up to him, I didn't go, oh man, a spike. Dang it. Boy, I hate that. No. No, I said, oh, man, I was just, I, man, I just felt like a kid. I really did. And that's what we're missing. That's why these kids want to quit hunting. You know, hunting, is, the, the sport is going down. 
Fathers ain't taking their sons much. Grandpas ain't taking their grandsons no more. Kids don't want to hunt because they're always afraid somebody's going to say something about the deer they shoot. Man, we need to celebrate each other. We need to, we need to, we need to just make each other feel like we're blood brothers and we're out here and we're hunting. We're not hunting for nobody else. We're not hunting to be some big TV star. We're hunting because we like to eat these deers. We hunt them because it's in our blood. We hunt them because we, we, we know where they come from. And we got out here and experienced that deer coming through that scope or through, you know, or watching him and shooting him with a bow. I don't apologize for nothing. And I ain't jealous of nobody. And if you shoot a 10 times bigger buck than me, and many of you have, it don't make me a bit jealous. I celebrate you. And I hope you celebrate my bucks too. <laughs> but man, we got to stop this. We got to stop this. Everybody wanting to shoot and act like they're on some managed Iowa property when they're in their backyard or they're hunting some 40-acre farm where everybody's hunting everything around them. You know, because what's going to happen is, and this happens because I know guys that do this. They wait for a big one. They sit there and they pass, they pass, they pass all these deer thinking they're going to see this big giant deer come through. That, that, that And there's not giant deer in their area, but they think, well, I'm going to wait for this big, you know. And then what happens, they pass all these deer and then deer scene's over. They ain't filled a tag. They ain't got another tax field. They ain't got no meat in the freezer. And they're all sad. And they're calling their meat hunters going, now their buddies at meat hunter, hey, man, can I have, can I? no, listen. You know, and and if you if that's what you want to do, more power to you. I'm not knocking you. I've got big deer on my wall. I've got six. I've I've had six mounted, and I've shot big deer, and I get excited about big deers. But we got to stop this 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 bashing each other, and celebrate each other. Yeah, it just I mean, it just almost makes you emotional. It just. Just it just sit here and just you just I mean seriously it just it just almost makes you emotional just the the the, the thrill that, that this deer gave me this morning it just I, I I just can't explain it I don't know why it's just a little spike but he gave me a thrill man oh well pardon me <laughs> but. Uh, Man, there's some deer right there. <laughs> there's two going right there. They probably up here, up here talking. And... <laughs> ah, dang it. <laughs> I sat here and just looked up and seen flags going through there. <laughs> they probably heard me or they somebody jumped them over here. I love it. Man, I appreciate it. I know this is a little bit longer video, but I hope you watch it. And I hope you share this. Share it with everybody, because this message needs to get out. But thank you, Lord. I just want—I just want to thank you, Lord, for this deer and for this hunting season, and for all the deers I've killed, and all the deers I've killed this year. And I want to thank you for this thrill that this deer gave me this morning. Thank you for living in America, where we can get out here and hunt and carry guns and, and put meat on our table. You gave us dominion over all the beasts of the field, the fowls of the air. And I give you praise, Lord. I give you glory. Thank you for this, dear, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, I got to get out of here. I'm resting now. I've preached enough now. But God bless you. I, I, man, I appreciate all everybody, all everybody that follows me on here. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. And, you know, I'm not, I'm no body special. I'm not no big TV star. The only people tell me I've killed, helped them kill their first turkey. Man, you know, you've taught me more than anybody on turkey. That's great. But listen, I'm just like you are. And I celebrate you. No matter what you kill. So if you kill something, you kill whatever today, or whatever you've killed, you come, you put a picture of it in these comments, and I'll congratulate you. I don't care what it is. And I hope you congratulate me on my little spot. <laughs> All right. <laughs> because this deer had my heart just pumping. Well, God bless you. Thank you for everybody that joins me on here. Thank you. And hopefully we'll grow more and more as turkey season gets closer. We usually do. God bless. I'll see y'all in the next video. 
And uh, again, thank you for your friendship. Thank you for everything that uh, that you said that uh, that's encouraged me and, and anybody else. We're all hunters. Let's act like it and let's celebrate each other. God bless you. Have a great day and go kill a deer, a big one, small one. I don't care. God bless you.